I'm Eric Von Anken. Glad you're with us tonight. More now on those concerns over drinking water in Brevard County. On Tuesday, we told you test results showed trace amounts of a cancer causing chemical in the water in Satellite Beach. Levels the EPA considers safe, but that didn't satisfy everybody, including more than a dozen Satellite High grads battling rare forms of cancer. News 6's Clay Lepard is in Satellite Beach, where several of those grads and others with concerns gathered this afternoon to discuss the test results. It was standing room only here inside the Satellite Beach Civic Center. The results of several groundwater and drinking water tests came out in the last week, which left many people here wondering, what do they all mean? People lined the walls inside at this concerned citizens meeting, all to ask questions about the different test results in front of city, county, and school leaders. Most recently, Brevard County released their results on Friday, which said the groundwater on the barrier island was well within the standards from the Environmental Protection Agency. But did contain chemicals commonly found in household products. But we have heard quite a few people sharing their own skepticism with those findings. Late last week, Brevard schools also released their own test results, saying the drinking water was safe. Nine schools tested positive for trace amounts of chemicals, but at much lower levels than the EPA guidelines for safe drinking water. This all started after 20 Satellite Beach High School graduates all found themselves battling different types of cancer, including friends of Satellite Beach native and radiation oncologist Julie Greenwald. I think all we've found is more questions right now, which I know is frustrating to a lot of the residents. Um, I think the answer I found is that there are a lot more cancer cases in this area than I even imagined. Greenwald says she's still getting about a call a day from graduates here in Satellite Beach who've been diagnosed with cancer. It's all it's also worth pointing out that these results come as Brevard County schools get ready to open on Friday. In Brevard County, Clay Lepard, News 6.